So this flight is supposed to be an uh, introduction to piloted and dead reckoning. We're going to be flying from here to Fleming Mason. And she's going to practice taking off out of here, making the radio calls, putting in frequencies for Fleming Mason, weather, sea taff, making radio calls there, entering the traffic pattern, making the landing, all that fun stuff. So it's just a lot more that goes into it than when we just take off out of Claremont and then come back into Claremont. I don't expect perfect dead reckoning or pilotage or anything like that. What I want her to start to understand is looking outside for her checkpoints, finding them, and then realizing if she's flying the right direction based on where those checkpoints are. I love doing this. It's nice, isn't it? Tell myself, don't touch the yoke. Yep. All right, and then, so I'm, I'm not gonna do anything with the mixture. Flaps, am I gonna do 10? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do a short field takeoff. Take okay. okay. All right, go over short field protocol besides maximum takeoff. Yeah, so we taxi out, obviously maximum runway. Line up on the center line, we put in full power while holding the brakes still. We're looking at engine instruments to make sure they're in the green, and we're looking at our RPM, make sure we have 2065. Uh, we release the brakes, drop the feet down, add that right rudder. A little bit of forward pressure on the yoke. Rotate 55, climb 60. And then once I say clear obstacle, we can pitch down a little bit to start gaining speed. And as you're approaching VY, about 75 knots, you can say approaching VY, flaps up, nose up. County traffic. Clement County, 2386 Victor, taking off from runway 22, headed to the southeast out of the pattern, Clement County. Engine instruments are in the green. I've got 2065, so drop the feet, right rudder. But the wind's coming off the right, yeah, right? Yeah, so okay. this way. Little neutral. Five, rotate. Claremont County, Pitch up more. Four, five, Sierra, Papa. You're coming Let's like eight. up here. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. what I couldn't remember how right. How much. All right, so clear obstacle. So now you can go back down to about the horizon. And now you're just going to be gaining some speed here, down a little bit more. It's fine because when you bring the flaps up, you're... It, I'm going to float up. Yeah. Clement County 2386, Victor is departing the pattern southeast. Final call, Clement County. The one thing to keep in mind, you drew your line directly from the runway at Claremont County to directly to the runway at Fleming Mason. Since we had to climb straight out for a little bit, you can overshoot your heading to get back on course. Okay. So let's turn to like 130. That way we're like kind of lining back up with where we drew that line. All right, 35. Power back and trim it out to be a little more down. Just pitch it down more. Just once you have your power set, it's just about pitch at that point. Okay. So whatever it takes to keep your altitude level. All right, now okay. I'm at my altitude. So what are we looking for here? So we had technically Old Boston as the first point, but I think that one's too close to the airport as we're, as we're climbing, so we had Bethel. Okay. I am thinking this is Bethel. Okay. Because it's the closest town from that climb. Real quick, I'll take controls for a second, They're and controls. you can get out your flight plan and your four flight. Uh, so that is Bethel. Okay. So my next point was um, Georgetown, I believe. Okay. And basically now we're just uh, flying along, looking for things outside, and heading towards Fleming Mason. Instead of seeing that she did it herself, I decided to walk her through putting in the frequencies of the new airport and listening to the weather, just because she was already very focused on her flight plane itself. And that's a good thing. So she had never done this before, right? So I can't just expect her to know to do this. So I walked her through it. The next frequency that we're gonna be switching to is the CTAF at Fleming Mason. So we can go ahead and get it in if you'd like. Uh, Fleming Mason is two, three, nothing. Okay. So, oh, the, the big knob yeah. for the, yeah. One, two, three, then. Okay, awesome. All right, so that's right. We'll just leave that and stand by for now. I think I see the airport right there. 
I'll tell you right now, you're probably not going to see the airport, but you will see the town. So, Flamingo Mason also has a weather frequency. I'll look and see what that is. 1825, I think. Yeah, you do have it written down there. Yeah, 118125. Okay, so we'll put that in this comm too. So, go ahead and switch frequencies over to that 1230. Let's see if we can listen to the weather too. Fleming Mason Airport, automated weather observation. Two, zero, four, one, Zulu, weather, wind, two, niner, zero, at three. Uh, we know that the winds are two, nine, zero. Two, five is the runway we'll be landing on. Left pattern, then we'll just come in and up yep, 45 sounds good down. To me. We'll have to wrap around to the, to the south side. Um, but that would be okay. We're a few miles out from Washington, and we know that Washington is only six miles out from Fleming Mason. So I would go ahead and make a call and say that we're 10 miles to the northwest inbound for landing on runway 25, and it's Fleming Mason traffic. Mason 2386 Victor is 10 miles northwest of the field inbound for runway 25, Fleming Mason. So 10 miles out, theoretically, we should be starting to look for it. The other thing that I would do pretty soon um, is turn your heading bug to 250 just to mark your runway heading as long as you know that you should be about about 150 on your current heading okay because then we know like okay runway should be going side to side as we're approaching it so it's easier to look for and then that's going to help us when we're entering the pattern too to make sure we're actually entering for the right runway so the best pattern entry might just be a teardrop since we're coming from the opposite side of the field we could cross midfield and then do a teardrop into the 45 downwind the other thing is cockpit resource management. That's a big thing for these cross-country flights. How is she managing her resources like her iPad, her paper flight plan, and everything else that's available to her? So is she putting in the frequencies before we're basically right above the airport? Is she listening to the weather on the way there? Is she looking at the stuff in her lap too much versus the stuff outside of the airplane? It's those kinds of things that we're trying to get in today, not flying perfectly, not doing this perfect dead reckoning, calculating times, and then new ground speed, and then you know ETA to get there and stuff like that. Go ahead and call that we are four miles northwest, crossing midfield for the teardrop entry for runway um, 25. Uh, Fleming Mason 2386 Victor is four miles northwest, entering midfield downwind teardrop for runway 25. Fleming Mason. It would be a midfield crosswind for the teardrop, but that's okay. You just said midfield downwind teardrop. Does it downwind? It's like, yeah, eh, it doesn't make too much sense, but. All right, so we're still looking for it. Yeah, I'm so, not. It's a lot closer than, um, it's in a shadow, which is hard. A little off to the right a little bit. You can see the, where the runway ends and the taxiway turns off to the right of the nose. Oh, so, I see a, a grass field. Is that a grass field? No, um, I mean, it's concrete. Oh yeah, no, that's actually the field. Okay. Yeah, it just might look like grass because of the shadow. So now we have the field in sight. We'll be crossing midfield and then heading out and turning around for the teardrop. 400, so I go out two miles, and then because I'm doing left, I go right to your drive. Yes, that's correct. Thing to note, a lot of airports are going to be using this CTAF frequency, so you might hear other people make radio calls, just you have to pay attention to the airport that they say, Okay. because um, a lot of the calls might not apply to us. Make a call that we're crossing midfield at 2400 for the teardrop. Mason 2386 Victor is crossing midfield for the teardrop downwind. Fleming Mason. Runway 25. You can call two miles out on the 45 downwind. Mason 2386 Victor, two mile on the 45 downwind for runway 25. Fleming Mason. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's level out because 1900 is pattern here. 19, so. 19, 19. I was thinking 18. No, you're good. Seem close? No. Okay. Yeah, this is okay. Okay. Fleming Mason 2386 Victor, turning left base, runway 25. Fleming Mason. A little too much? Uh, no, we're okay, but we do need a little bit more power because we need to pitch down more Okay. for that speed. Okay, full flaps. Fleming Mason 2386 Victor turning final runway 25. Fleming Mason. Looking good right now. Bring a little bit of power out. I'm going to have a right cross, correct? Just because wind's 2-9. Okay. And more power and out. Doors down to SCAR 27097. We will climb 5. Oh, there, 25. I'm not get it. Yeah. I'm just Go power idle for a second. Okay. Uh, I'm going way too fast. Yeah, we can pitch up a little bit. Just normal landing. Back to the right a little. Yeah. 
That was good. That was a good landing. Let's exit at Charlie here. No, that's not how you turn. Put your hand up. No, I'm not. I'm, oh, I'm, okay. I'm holding the resistance of, of back you, and it's starting to like... <laughs> it just happened to turn the same way that you were uh, yeah, about I was to like, go, so... <laughs> like, not this again. <laughs> Thought we were over it. This flight was a lot of fun. We took off out of here, we went to Flaming Mason. She did a good job of finding her way there just by using her references outside of the aircraft. So we had the heading to turn to, and even though when you're hand flying, you're not gonna hold a heading perfectly the whole time, we still headed in the right direction. It's, it's, it's kind of a lot, isn't it? Handling everything from Claremont to Flaming Mason. I mean, it's a short flight, so you don't have that much time to do everything. Right. But you're trying to, um, you're trying to find your checkpoints, you're checking your times, you're getting the sea tap in, you're getting the weather, you're listening to the weather. Like you're kind of doing a lot and figuring out what the pattern altitude is and how I'm gonna enter the pattern and all this stuff. Some of these things are things that you can figure out on the ground before you leave. Short field takeoff again? Um, let's just do it. yeah, let's do a short field. Mason 2386 Victor is taking off from runway 25, departing. Following Mason. Over 2065, we're in the green, so we can go here, right rudder, nose down, neutral. That's it. Let it come up. Rotate. More right rudder. And pitch up more. A little bit more. That's it. Edge. Okay, clear obstacle. All right, I can go flaps up. That was too quick for flaps up. Oh. Remember, we need to build our speed first before we do that. Right to 75. Yeah. We are going northwest. Yep. Okay. If you were 150 on the way here, you'd be 330 on the way back. Ish. Birds up there. Thought about how much our wake turbulence could affect a bird. They like it though. Yeah, I guess. I can just imagine a bird just flying in and like stalling and flipping. <laughs> yeah. Does like a little shake. It's weird to think about a bird stalling, but like, you know, it could happen. 2200-ish, 2500-ish. We shouldn't be so ish on the altitude. 330-ish. <laughs> Get back, ish. I heard somebody going, I'm taking off from 2-2, probably going south or something like oh that. And I was goodness. like, wait, what? Probably going south. I'm pretty sure I heard that, but I'm not positive. There's my radio towers. 2386 Victor is turning 45 left, 45 downwind, left for 2-2, Clumber County. Something. All the good information was there. Yeah, it's, it's something, but they can, they can figure it out. I don't need to spell it out for them. What am I doing? I'm all confused with my land. Uh, let's do a short field. It's been a little while. Short field. Okay. All right. So we got a 50 foot obstacle at the cones. So we need to be at 900 feet at the cones. And then we pull our power to idle, pitch down, get in the ground effect, and then touch down on the numbers. Clement County 2386 Victor is turning left base, runway 22, Clement County. 2386 Victor is turning final, runway 22, Clement County. The first time you've overshot in a while. I know. I knew I was going to when I blue past 80 on cross base correct with rudder pitch for let's just keep it at 65 pitch up take a little power out just gonna make sure we're at 900 at the fence here alright power out down that's it, right there, good. Clear, cool. Oh, back to the right, let's go around. All right, go around, full throttle. Start your climb. Yep, now reach down flaps. County 2386 Victor is going around, Clemmer County. 10 flaps, and nose up. Yep, there it is. Hit by a gust of wind, forces off to the grass on the side. Are you making a lie, or are you actually? No, I, I think we actually did get did you? Okay. gusted, yeah. Cause I. I'm like, I don't know if it's because of how I ducked, or... It could have been that too, but... Because I, I did do a last minute pull up that I felt like shouldn't, I shouldn't have done. Yeah. But I got him. Clement County, 2386 Victor is turning left downwind, runway 22, Clement County. All right, pull up.
pulling the power out since I'm over. What happened there was when you looked out your window, you pulled back I, on the yeah, yoke. Yeah, I thought, I was like, all of a sudden I'm at Push two. Down. Yeah. Go rounds always throw me off. <laughs> Got a lender reset. Downwind is a great time for that. My county, 2386 Victor, turning final. Climb my county. Uh, pulling out slight power. Slow. Go ahead and just pull that power out and pitch down. Yeah, this is look, this looks good. Up now. Oh. <laughs> Brakes, damn it. Alright, we'll be going to the left. Alright, a bit of a rough landing. Very. I, I'm telling you, the, the short field... I, if I don't have my speed set, I screw myself in the landing. Yeah. And that's all it, like that's all I'm basically getting to is I can't I get it. Like Right. Yeah, we bubbled up and then when we came back down you just didn't I, do anything yeah. about it. That's a struggle. Yeah. Overall this was a very good flight. Attitudes were up, things were going well. The only thing that wasn't good was the very end of the flight. We had a go around, it kind of threw her off a little bit and the landing wasn't very good. I'm not too worried about that. Things that I wanted to work on during this flight, we did and she did them well.